Attention Violet Town fans, here's your chance to relive the greatest night in the club's history with your very own copy of Wrexham Ball. 3-0 down to Marseille. That's no problem for the Lakesiders who storm back for a 4-3 victory. No penalty shootout required. And as a special bonus, order in the next 20 minutes and we'll throw in a copy of The Miracle of St. Petersburg and your very own replica of Luke Buston Brew, the Dutch Destroyer. So you can remember all of Violet Town's greatest European nights. I'm Chaz Hogan, Australian journalist, and I approve this message. Hi guys, I'm Ozzy Bill and welcome to Season 14, Episode 15 of The Impossible Dream with Violet Town. And today we play RB Leipzig, home and away, in the Europa League second knockout round. Uh, but we have to, it's too good not to go back and have a quick look at the heroics we showed in the second leg of that first knockout round. 3-0 down in aggregate we were, and we came storming back to win 4-3 on the night and get ourselves past Marseille and up against RB Leipzig. It was a wonderful, wonderful performance and definitely worthy of a DVD order, I think. Um, don't call, there is no, there is no DVD. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there's one game to catch you up on since last episode, so let's go and uh, let's go catch you up on that. It was the Welsh Cup quarter final against Cardiff Met Uni. Let's see if we can get ourselves into the semi finals. We fell behind in the 11th minute. Sam York's driven cross was finished by Damien Olmark, but the tie went to extra time, where Olmark turned provider for Jason Isaac to send us through. So we were below our best and we made hard work of it, but we did deserve to go through. Allmark in the end was the hero with a goal and an assist. Um, you can see from the player ratings, we were the better team. And their goal was a little bit of a little bit of a wonder strike as well that you're unlucky to go in against you. But uh, yeah, we definitely made some very hard work of it. But in the end, we got there. That's the main thing. And we have the semi-final against Carna 4. Now, of course, we played Carna 4 in the, in the League Cup semi-final. So back-to-back -back semis against them. But today, it's all about this, the RB Leipzig game. We do have a game against Connors Key in the league in between. Obviously, I'll play that and show you the highlights. Quick update of the league table. We haven't secured the title as of yet, but that win over Kevin Druids has put us in a nice position. Um, but as I said, we park everything to the side and we just focus on Europa League football today. And hopefully... Um, hopefully, we're going to pull off some more, uh, some more wonder works here. We are not the favourites for this one. Uh, RB Leipzig are the favourites. They are a. We haven't played them before, as you can see there. They are a Lucas uh, Almsick uh, coach side. I don't recognise the name, if I'm honest, but I'm not an expert in German. I'm not an expert in any football, but especially German football. He's a, he's a decent enough manager, a decent enough coach. They're an adventurous, standard style of play. We're expecting them to come out against uh, a 4 2 3 1 formation. Um, we can see here that uh, they beat Hamburg last time out. They're only 8th in the Bundesliga, so they're not a top Bundesliga side. Um, but they are still a Bundesliga side, aren't they? So that that's, means they're going to be tough. We can see the heat map here. It's, it's relatively standard, I would say. There's nothing that stands out there as a weakness or a strength for them. Um, passing network is there. Key passes as well. You can see they do, they, they do go a little bit direct at times. And this is the team that we are sending out, and we are going for it. Well, this is what we did against Marseille, and we absolutely tore them a new one. So, we're going to have a go at them and just see what happens. Go down swinging. So, Thiel goes in goal. It's Lafuente, Susnik, Tony, and Noster is the back four. Brewerton and Arias go in midfield. Pukul and Holick and Fomin in behind Matteo Freshi. We've got Big Mac on the bench if we need him. I was very, very tempted to go with a number with a DM and not have the number 10. But ultimately, Holick is one of our better players. Freshy is one of our better players. I wanted to get as many of our best players on the field as possible. Um, so that's why we're doing this. And hopefully it won't come back and bite us and we'll concede a bunch of away goals. But um, yeah, well, we'll just see how we go, won't we? All right, and here we go. Everybody is lining up as expected. And so that is a good thing, I suppose. Uh, Gomez says pick up where they left off. Um, so let's assertively, I want you to pick up where you left off last time, uh, even though we weren't fantastic against Cardiff Met Uni, which we'll pretend that we're talking about the Marseille game. All right, then here we go. Wrexham is empty. Social distancing at its finest. Um, it really frustrates me we don't get crowds, but I think it was Gaz Monster that was saying that, you know, because Bale is such a small town, that's, that's, you know, probably why, but it still frustrates me. Uh, Polkin with a ball away. Here we go with Arias. I'm really, really nervous, I suppose, that I've done the wrong thing here. Here we go with Fomin, though. Great ball to find him. Fomin! It's a really good save from their goalkeeper. 
Uh, but the Marseille game just made me think maybe I'm underestimating exactly how good we are. So we'll have a go at them. And if nothing else, it'll be a learning experience. Maybe, you know, we'll find out if we are as good as we think or, or as I think, or if we're not as good as I think. So we'll we'll learn something from this game one way or another. Here we go with a corner. Arias knocks it in. It's decent. It's a wall. It's off the line. It's bouncing around. It's done anything but get in the back of the net. Unbelievable. How are we not winning this game? Arias with another corner. Another good ball in. Tony can't win it. Edge of the area. Puklon's there. Flick on by Nosta. Oh, are we? Is it destined to be one of these games that just doesn't go in for us? Another corner. Arias is there. Again, it's there. And again, it's over the bar. Puklund, I think it was. And a, we've come tearing out of the gates. Can we go and get this goal, though? Being a home leg of a two-legged tie, if we can keep them scoreless, that is almost the main thing. We've got another corner. Arias, it's another good one. It's off the crossbar again. It's sitting on the goal line. How has it not gone in? Back to Tony. He's the last man we want. Is Arias offside? He stayed on. Pukland, Nosta. Nosta crosses in. Fresh, he's there. And how is it? No, how is no? <laughs> oh, how have we not scored? Come on, boys. La Fuente to Brewerton. Brewerton. We're going to get mugged off here, aren't we? Here we go with Tony. Wonderfully spread pass there out for Pukland. Pukland goes past his man. Can he get a cross in? Freshie's there. Back post Fomin. Fomin on the volley and Fomin gives us the lead. He's eighth of the season. It's 1-0. It has been a stunning start to this game. An absolutely stunning start to the game. We more than deserve that lead. We could be 4 or 5 up by now. It's like watching Aston Villa play Liverpool. We're ripping them to shreds. And a big hello to any Liverpool fans that may be watching. What a game. <laughs> Oh, it's wonderful stuff, though. Come on, now we need to make sure we defend properly and go and get a couple more if possible. Um, let's give it a demand more coming into the break here. If we can, we've got a corner to defend. It's been a wonderful start. We don't want to undo it all by conceding that away goal, but thankfully it has gone just over the bar. We've got another highlight here. La Fuente into Brewerton. Back to La Fuente. He crosses it in to nobody. It's there for Arias. He unleashes, and it's just over the bar. Just wide as well I think but what a first half this has been but again let's not ruin it boys let's get this away we do it was Susnik with the header clear it's still there though it's still dangerous it is a, how's he got so much space out there Nosta goes across oh and we have conceded an away goal it's 1-1 one, one. oh and that's stupid boys isn't it why did you do that a complete domination in the first half, and we go in slightly behind in the tie because we've conceded an away goal. A little bit too much space there for the overlapping player. Just lost out the back post. It's going to be La Fuente, isn't it? it, it of course it's La Fuente. He's going to be the death of me, that man. And, well, we've got another highlight now. What we don't want is if we end up behind in this half, that would be a, just a crime against football. We've absolutely battered them. And here it is. It's going to be a smash in, isn't it? No, Fields there makes the save. Let's get rid of LaFuente. I don't want to look at you, mate. Rolls it out to Susnik. Susnik to Tony. I really would prefer these two weren't playing around with it. But so far, so good. We've just about got away with it. And here come RB Leipzig again. Oh, we've woken up the beast, haven't we? There's a good block. Hollick goes to put pressure on. So does Freshie. Just right before half-time, it would be a horrible time to score. A quick one-two punch, having dominated the half. There's a ball over the top. Theo, come out, mate! Oh, Jesus Christ. Just about got away with that as well. Oh, just end the half. Come on, boys. What have you done? Suddenly, we look a shambles defensively. It was all one way, and now it's all like the other way. Oh, Jesus Christ. This game could be 5-5. It's 1-1. One, one. It's not the worst. Um, what do we say to that? A passionate. We've been the better team. Let's go with that. The players that aren't playing well will tell them we want to see a little bit more from them. We essentially dominated that half of football. Oh, the point they playing a 6-6. Six, six. I cannot wait to try and get another left back in this summer. It's, I mean, there was nobody else. And again, a reminder, 
the rule that I sort of set on all my saves is that uh, the scouts have to find the players. I don't, I can't search for the players. I just feel it for me personally, it just makes it a little bit more realistic um, rather than just sort of going and searching and finding the player I want. So that's just the way I prefer to play. Uh, but just a reminder, that's why finding a left back is not, it's more difficult perhaps than it, 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 you think maybe it should be. Um, but let's go out here for this second half. Let's demand a little bit more. Holick is not having a good game in that number 10 role. He's not a natural in it. Uh, what is the exact role we've got him in? A shadow striker. Let's just try him as an attacking midfielder, maybe, rather than a, a shadow striker. Uh, here we go. He's on the ball now. Loses out. Fomin has it. Back for Brewerton. There's a good ball for Holick. Holick, wonderful ball for Freshy. Matteo Freshy, almost from the exact spot that he scored the winner against Marseille has gone and put us back in front. It's a wonderful strike from Matteo Freshi, an 11th goal of the season for him. And Holick, well, he did okay here, didn't he? Ran into a little bit of space. Brewerton found him. Wonderfully weighted pass. And Freshi, first time, makes no mistake. And that's what Freshi can do. If he can keep this going, well, we could go a long way in this tournament. Nice pass from Holick as well. That's what we want him in there doing. He's a good creative player. So if he can keep doing that, that is, well then, fantastic, really. Demand a little bit more here. Susnick with a free kick deep in our own half. La Fuente has it. Oh, La Fuente. Brewerton. In for Arias. Oh, Jesus Christ. A bit of a hospital pass, but we get away with it. La Fuente back to Susnick. Don't get caught in possession, boys. Thiel out for Tony. They're putting some pressure on us. We've played around that press nicely. Hollick goes wide. Oh, can't quite find... Uh, what's his name? Puk Puklin. And here come, here come, uh, what are they called? RB Leipzig. And that's a wide shot. Um, yeah, Holix has improved. I mean, that assist will have helped his match rating as well. But he, he looks as though he's a little bit better in that role. Oh, I thought we were going to get to that with Pukland, but not quite to be. Come on, boys. They are playing around us a little bit, aren't they? I wonder if we need to go and put a little bit more pressure on them. Uh, we do have the line sort of compact right now. I'm wondering oh, if we need to go and just put pressure on them. It's it's suicide football, isn't it? <laughs> but um, yeah, we'll just see if that if that helps us at all. Let's try some praise. These match ratings aren't looking too bad. Here we go. Can we put pressure on them? Come we, we can. Fermin's won it back. Freshie's in the middle. Freshie's there, and Freshie sticks it away, and it's three-one. Wonderful stuff. Excellent, excellent stuff. 3-1 now we are beating RB Leipzig. We've got to be careful because obviously Fomin did so well there and the cross as well. It's just wonderful stuff. And another away goal and it, it, it hurts. It's, it's not done yet. But it's looking, it's looking good. It's looking very, very nice indeed. Let's give them some more praise. Both our central midfielders are on bookings. That makes me slightly nervous. Let's get Correa on for Arias, who's looking a little bit tired as well. Um, so we'll make that change. Nostas looking a little bit tired, but he's doing a wonderful job at left back. Uh, let's just go back off of attacking. And, oh, it's a highlight. I really would have just been happy with 3-1. Brewerton has the ball for La Fuente. Back to Brewerton. To Correa, forward to Holick. Can we dare dream of a fourth? Holick with a little bit of time, a little bit of space. And Michelle Holick makes it 4-1 in the very last minute of stoppage time. We'll tell him to concentrate. It's a wonderful goal from our wonder kid. Oh, this has been a wonderful performance. 4-1. Holick, they didn't close him down. And he made them pay off the crossbar as well. That always makes it look good. Correa with the assist. And that should be that. It's 4-1. And are we going to the quarterfinals of the Europa League? We've certainly put ourselves in a wonderful, wonderful position to do just that. Assertively, boys, don't get complacent. But go on. So Barla Town take their chances. Uh, you have to be happy with that win. I'm, uh, well, let's, it would have been nice to play better. Let's just try and downplay things a little bit there. Uh, and that is just... Well, it was better than I could have hoped, to be honest. We basically did better than we did against Marseille. Wonderful stuff. All right, guys, wait right there. We'll be back for the second leg. I've got to go play Connor's Key in the league. Okay, welcome back. It is time for the second leg. We're in a wonderful position, having won that first leg, of course, 4-1.
Uh, but obviously that away goal just maybe gives them a way back into this. Now, before we get to this one, we do have to catch up what happened in the league. Uh, we were playing Connors Key. We still got uh, Kevin Jewels annoyingly close to us at the top of the table. So let's see how we got on. We left it late, but Heinz Mackmeyer redirected Ballerini's header to give us the lead. And we secured the points moments later when Damien Ormar did it all himself. So it was a decent performance this one. They came, they parked the bus, they were never going to score. The worst it was going to be for us was nil-nil. They offered nothing. And in the end, Mackmeyer and Ormar got the job done for us late in the day. Um, to make sure we did pick up the three points. And it was important that we did. Kevin Jewards won as well, so they are five points back from us. I think it's five games to play, and we do play them away from home the last day of the season. So, um, ideally, we will have a nice relaxing game that day. We won't be sort of uh, stressed out, wondering if we're going to win the league or not. But, uh, yeah, a good win, that one against Connors Key. But this is what we're all about now. It is getting into the Europa League quarterfinals, if we could dare dream of that. Uh, we just saw this. It's all the same. Um, their game in between was against Hertha Berlin. You can see they lost that 2-1. Um, everything is roughly the same as it was previously, which is fine. And let's have a look at the team we're sending out. Now, one thing we do have to catch you up on here is uh, Brett Brewerton has got a suspension for a, a yellow card accumulation. So he's unavailable for this one. Uh, which is a little bit of a blow, but we'll make do with it. So it's Thiel at the back. Um, it is uh, in goal, I should say. It's Lafuente, Susnik, Tony, and Noster as the back four. Bukley comes in to replace um, to replace Brewerton. So hopefully he'll do a good job there with Arias next to him. It's Pukland, Holick, and Fomin. Freshy up top. You'll see Holick is playing as an advanced, uh, sorry, as an attacking midfielder this time. There's an argument to say we should go a little bit more defensive, but I really want to see how we can get the best out of Holick in this number 10 role if we're only going to play one up front at times. Um, and if you can't experiment in the knockout rounds of a European competition, then I don't know when you can experiment. So both teams are lining up the same way, which I guess is to be expected, really. Um, Gomez says go out there, prove a point. I'm going to say just we can't allow complacency, boys. Um, it's as simple as that. We cannot allow complacency. All right, and here we're going to, while we're waiting for the game to get underway, we are still looking for Viewers Player of the Year nominees. Um, so if you had a change of heart or if you want to nominate somebody else, if you haven't nominated anybody yet, let me know in the comments who you think has been our best player or your favorite player this season. And uh, we'll continue to compile a list of potential winners ahead of the last episode of the season. Tony has won the ball back for us there. What we want to do if we can is, if we can get the away goal early, that'd be wonderful. Wonderful ball there for Fermin. Is that a penalty referee? It's still bouncing around in there. Goalkeeper cleans it up, gets it forward. We've won it back again with Bukley for Arias, for Holick. Spreads it wide for Pukland. Can he do something? Pukland gets the away goal for us in the second minute, and we are off and flying again. They now need four goals just to draw level. Let's uh, concentrate, please, boys. I'm not quite sure why the goalkeeper rushed that kick out so quickly. But uh, Bukley picked it up for us. A little bit of uh, back and forth, one-touch football. And before Pukland tucked it away, his ninth of the season. Holick with the assist. And it's 5-1 on aggregate. And we are destroying a Bundesliga side right now. Holick with a corner. Decent as well. Headed away. Pukland is there. What can he do? Takes his time. Holick has it now. Can he get a cross in? We've got players in the box. Can he get a nice low cross in? It's all cleared away by the defense. And, well, here they come. What we don't want, ideally, is to get them straight back into this. It's a wonderful run, but Thiel has, in the end, a bit of a simple save as the shot was uh, less than, I think, op optimal from the striker's point of view. Come on, boys. Come on. Let's give it a concentrate here. We just need to not stuff up royally. Holick with another corner. It's another good one. It's off the line. And I'm not actually sure that the uh, that the defender meant to clear that off the line. I think it just hit him in the face. It's the Aussie villain style of defense that way. Just put something in the way of it. That's off the crossbar. It's bouncing around again. And we've had a free kick against Fomin, I think. Maybe slightly too aggressive going for that. All right. Come on, boys. Come on. Can we go and win this back high up the pitch? Doesn't look like we can. They're coming through the middle of us. Nelson with a little bit too much space. He lines up the shot. If they're going to shoot from there, you'd imagine Thiel's not going to concede five. So that's going to be okay. Another free kick. If we can get another away goal, that is surely tied down. Arias with a decent ball in. It's headed around. It's off the crossbar again. Referee, check this uh, goal. That's surely a couple of inches too low. How many times can he hit a crossbar in a game of football? Unbelievable. Now we've got to work to do at the other end. Cross in. Away. Easily done by six foot six Nosta. 
Bukley takes his time getting forward. Maybe a little bit quicker next time, mate. Fomin with a nice pass. Freshy, it's just ahead of him. Right idea, though. And is the highlight going to continue here? Goalkeeper lumps it forward. A little bit too much space there, perhaps. And they are finding a lot of space, which is slightly concerning. I wonder if the ball is pulled back. It's still there. It's cleared by La Fuente, of all people. Pukland has it. And what can he do? He looks to find Freshy. Freshy's a little bit wide. Pukland's in the middle. We have some more shirts getting forward. It's tackled away. And that'll be a throw. And that'll also do it. Oh, we won't do it for the highlight. We've come back. Lafuente with the throw in. Dubukli tackled away. But Lafuente has it again. Oh, a referee. Two-footed lunge. Two Referee, come back for the red card, please. Oh, that was disgusting. They should be down to 10. All right, Thiel with a, with a free kick. A uh, goal kick, I should say. Susnik spreads it wide for Lafuente. Even Lafuente is finding space and looking like he knows what a football is right now. That's how good we are. Lafuente in there for Holick. Holick loses out. And are we going to end up coming back the other way here? It's very, very open, isn't it? And Rasparo has gone straight past his man. And Thiel hasn't covered himself in glory there, but has just about done enough. Boys, how about we calm down a little bit here, please? Corner in, away. We're looking. I don't want to I don't want to tempt fate, but we're looking pretty good defending corners right now. Freshy with some space again. More shirts getting forward, but that highlight kind of peters out into nothing. And we've come back for yet another highlight. Thiel, short for Tony. Tony gets it forward. It's not the best pass. It's intercepted. Here come Leipzig again. Tony, one block. Second time of asking. A 20th goal for Bernhard. We probably don't need to be attacking at 5-1 uh, up, do we? Uh, let's tell him to show some passion. It wasn't the best ball forward, and it would have been Pukland out there. Maybe just caught napping. A little bit of bad luck. The initial block, it fell back to Bernhard, and, well, we saw what happened from there, didn't we? 1-1 one, one on the night, 5-2 on aggregate. It's uh, very much still in our favor, but it's, well, you wouldn't expect it to be as easy away from home, would you? But there we go. We're in a decent position here still. Uh, if we do manage to get through, we will end the episode with... Um, we have to be assertive, don't we? You're winning here. Don't let those performance levels drop. Uh, we will end the episode with the draw, and it will be a quarterfinal, semifinal draw. So if we are to get through, we will know our path or our potential path to the final. Um, there are some big teams in this competition still, so I don't want to go and make any stupid predictions like we can go on and win it. But we're not looking too bad. I'm very, very tempted to just maybe shut up shop a little bit here. Nosta gets ahead to that. It's lumped forward. It's on the Freshy, who's uh, capitalized on the defensive error by the defender there. But the goalkeeper's made the save. Almost a dream start to the second half. We'll demand a little bit more. Holick with the corner. Can he pick out one of the big heads at the back? No, he can't. Freshy is there. It's cleared away. And... Here we go again with Barnhart. It's a decent foul, that one from Lafuente, and he doesn't even get a booking. Well done. The referee's probably taking pity on him. He knows what Lafuente's like. Um, all right, I am... Oh, it's a penalty. It did look a little bit through the back, didn't it? No, it's not a penalty. It's a corner. Well, it's a wonderful tackle then. Corner in, away. It's over everybody. Some black shirt. That's no, fine. It's fine. Highlights coming thick and fast here. I'd really like us to try and close this down a little bit if possible. No start can't quite clear the ball there for us. Cross to the back post. La Fuente, as you would expect, is beaten in the air. And here we go. We might need to think about changing things if this highlight doesn't end in a goal for us. Bukley to Arias. Back to Bukley. All the way back to Thiel. He's a long way out of his goal, but he's done well there. Tony gets it forward. Nice first time pass. Freshie's in the box. Can Freshie do something? It's tackled away. He's still got it though. Freshie's done really well there. Nosta's a long way forward. Nosta unleashes, but not quite where we needed it. All right, I think we might need to just try and close this thing down a little bit. Um, it's a little bit too a little bit too exciting, isn't it, for where we need to be right now? Freshie as an advance forward. That's fine. Um, what we need is someone to play in here for me. Arias can kind of do it. He can't really tackle though, can he? Um, we do need somebody else to play that role. 
So let's get one me on for Pookland. Um, let's get Coria on for Fomine. And let's just hope Arius does a decent job in there for us. And yeah, hopefully we can just kind of close this out. Now we've got a comfortable lead. What we don't need is an open game of football. So hopefully this will close it down. Let's go back off of attacking. We don't need to be bombing men forward. Throw here now for Leipzig. Cross goes into the box. Tony's there. Heads it away. Back in. Easy for Thiel. And what's going to happen from here? Thiel, he's, he's panicking. He's frozen with fear. Everybody gets forward. Just find a black shirt for me. Gets it forward. It's in towards. Oh, he's done a wonderful job there, Holick. He's turned his defender. He checks back. It's there for Freshy. Can Mateo Freshy? No. Good tackle. Cleared into touch. But that was decent. Let's uh, let's demand a little bit more here. If we can go and get this second goal of the game. The clock's running down, though. They still need three to tie it up. Keep constant. Oh, It should be comfortable, shouldn't it, really? But if they get another one now, they only need two more, and then you start to worry. Come on, boys. Make it difficult for them. Put a little bit of pressure on here. Schmidt with it. Back for Halson. Back to Schmidt. They're sort of all on top of each other. Ball over the top, though. Nosta goes out. Can he get a tackle in here? He can. Well done, Nosta. All right. Gets forward. Just keep it. What is that? Well, he's tripped over the ball. Don't do it. Come on. It's still there. It's crossed in. Oh, and they have got another one back. And it's 2-1 on the night. 5-3 on aggregate. Show some passion, boys. And now it is. If they get another one now, then I do start to... I do start to pee my pants a little bit. Oh, it's not the best defending. We'll see. Um, let's drop that line back a little bit. Um, let's not exploit the flanks either. And let's probably be more distant. Let's just go full defensive here, shall we? Uh, no point being silly. Let's just, uh, let's just try and see this out, please, boys. Come on. I beg of you. Oh, don't score again. Over the bar. It's fine. Everybody breathe. We're doing okay here, boys. We're doing okay. We're into stoppage time. I think we're going to do it. We have done it. We are going to the Europa League quarterfinals. What an effort that is. A stunning first leg. And we just about did enough in the second leg, despite losing on the night. Um, well done, boys. Congratulations. So first leg triumph helps Barla Town past RB Leipzig. Second knockout round victory. Money in the bank. We've also got those coefficient points racking up. But guys, wait right there. We'll end the episode with a draw for the quarters and the semis. All right, and here we go. Europa League quarterfinals and semifinal draws. Let's have a look at who's left in this thing. It's ourselves, Florentina, Milan, Espanyol, Dortmund, Liverpool, Rangers, and Roma. You just want to avoid Liverpool, really, don't you? Anybody else there, Dortmund would be tough. But we've just beaten a Bundesliga side. Anybody else there, I'd say we're a chance. Just not Liverpool, please. Somebody else can beat them for us. Liverpool's first is going to be us, isn't it? No, it's not. It's Rangers. Come on, Rangers. Dortmund. Are we playing Dortmund? No, we are not. We are going to have a relatively winnable game. Espanyol. Milan. So we are playing Florentina. We have the first leg at home again. So we'll have to go out and go for them. Um, but that could have been a lot worse, couldn't it? So it's Florentina up next. Who is the semi-final draw going to be? If we can avoid Liverpool-Dortmund get each other, come on Liverpool-Dortmund. No, so if we are to get to the final, we're going to have to go through Liverpool in all likelihood. But it's, well, I mean, if we get to the semi-final, then I think we'll all be dancing in the streets of Barla, won't we? That is wonderful stuff, guys. That is it for today. If you have enjoyed that, please do hit thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And, well, it's, it's, it's happening. We're into the quarterfinals. We'll be back next time. I think it will be... We'll send the Wags out in the Welsh Cup semi-final. Then it will be the first leg of the quarterfinal against Florentina. We haven't been in a quarterfinal of Europe since all the way back when we got there in the Euro 2 Cup and went out, I think it was to Nice, wasn't it? Can we do a little bit better versus Florentina? They are, where are they? They are ninth in Serie A. They're a mid-table Serie A side. Oh, you've, I'll be disappointed if we don't go through. Take care.